So now let's do our next phase. And I'll start off with a simple one, the two shot disappearing light trick. This is the, the easiest and first step. This is one that we can always incorporate. And the reason I do this shot, just to kind of reiterate, this, these are the two shots we're gonna use here. I shoot one shot where my light source, because I want that light source up nice and close and from this direction and all that, but I don't want it in the shot because I'm kind of a wide um, composition here. So I shoot one with the light source in and without moving my camera, I have my assistant just turn the light out of the, sh get out of the shot. And so she's on a, she has my light on a stick and that's a lot of times the way I work on, a, on location is my assistant holds the light on a pole rather than using light stands because then it's easily mobile. I can move it here, move it there, readjust. We can shoot really quick uh, and get a lot of different looks without having to you know, grab light stands and move them around. And my lighting is simple. It's usually one light, one main light, and then maybe a backlight, hair light, rim light, something cool like that. So to do this, that's all you gotta do. Get your light wherever you want it. It could be right up close to her face as long as it's not blocking something that you want to um, keep in the shot. Set one shot with the light, take it out. One more shot for the background. The background should be the same exposure as the main shot because we're gonna use that. And the only thing I'm gonna do to these before I take them into Photoshop is I wanna boost a little bit. So I'm gonna select both images, go to D for develop mode. Make sure you take them both together so they get the same adjustment because those backgrounds need to match, right? Make sure auto sync is on so that both images get the same adjustment here. And I'm gonna boost just a little bit of my shadow information to open up the, the texture in the background there. Um, and maybe just a little more vibrance. So the greens pop just a little bit more, a little more richer, vivid feel to it. But I've selected them both so that they both get the exact same adjustment. Okay. Now if I'm scrolling through both of these, the one on the left just seems a little bit brighter exposure wise. So I'll deselect the two and hit this one up with just a wee bit of exposure bump. So that's closer to that one. Does that make sense? So now they're pretty much identical as far as the background exposures. Select both images. Go back to grid if we want to. Select both images, go to photo, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right. That'll pass those two, Im two images to Photoshop, put them in the same file on a separate layer. Each one is on its own layer. There's the light, there's the background. And notice they don't, they don't line up, but that's super simple to fix. Select both layers, shift click across them, go to edit, <clears throat> auto align layers. Just hit OK for the automatic option. And now Photoshop fixes that for you so the background is aligned perfectly. Then you just select the top layer, which is the one with the light source in it, because you can see it. Click down here on the mask icon. Grab your paint brush, shortcut B. Okay, paint brush. Black as the foreground color, opacity set to 100%. Take your brush over the image right here, make it a little bit bigger, and paint out the light and everything else you don't want. That's it. Okay. How easy is that? If we want to, now of course there's a little bit of uh, trim on the edges that got because we shifted those images around so we can use our crop tool. C for crop, grab the edge, just trim off a little bit of that transparent area. I think there was some at the bottom too. No, it was on the left side, sorry. And do a little bit of crop in action if you want, on the left side. All right. Top and right, you see there's a little bit of white space. Again, this is from the image shift. So a quick way to fix that. Let's go ahead, now we've got the, the two images composited. We don't need to worry about the uh, light source anymore. So I'm gonna just flatten these two up. You can go to flatten images right here, or use the shortcut if you've created one. And then I'm gonna no use another uh, cool little tool, which is my lasso select 
just kind of roughly select that little white corner up there. Can you guys see what I'm talking about in that white corner? Okay, it's like a little leftover white space. And then here's a, the trick, you show you shift, delete. And the fill box comes up and use content aware as the option, make sure that's selected, and then hit okay. And that looks for perfect information to fill that spot. Content aware fill, a lot of people are, are familiar with that because it's a, it's a powerful tool, but it's also easily accessible by just selecting shift, delete, content aware comes up, enter and then that spot's gone. It's filled with natural looking background.